So today we're going to take a look at the Homondo Digital Voice Recorder. Now this is one of the cheapest voice recorders on Amazon. It was about £25. Give or take, price is probably flex. It's a nice packaging as well. It's like, normally at these cheaper items and the packaging is not very good. It's got like a bit of an iPhone box, I think. It's got that like, it's really tight to like come off. It's like a bit of a premium feeling. I've obviously opened this before and demonstrated it for this review. So some things... You know, look a little bit used, but if we get it out, it's all nice in the. And this is what we get. This is the main device, front and back. And we'll have a look at the other stuff before we get into the device itself. In here, we just have a micro USB cable. I'm not going to get it out. You know what a micro USB cable looks like? It's not a very long one at all. But you don't really need a long one for this. And of course, you get your user manual as well. So with that off to the side, what do you get? You get quite a small screen. It's a bit like one of those calculator screens. And of course, you get your play, stop, menu. You got record, up and down for your volume. This is your power on switch here. If we turn that on, you'll see that it boots up nice and nice. So I don't know how well you can see the screen. This is rechargeable. These are your microphones here at the top, left and right. You've got a battery gauge on here. This will show you how your recording's doing. To record, you just slide that up and slide it down. The screen does go off once it's recording to conserve power. And on the side, we have these skip buttons backwards and forwards. So my thoughts on this device, it's nice, it's portable. You're going to get a lot of time out of it. This is the 8 gig model that I have here. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot to charge it either. It's input 5 volts, 500 milliamp. And for anyone who's wondering, this is the TF85 model. I don't know if there's any other models, but it's not bad for the money. Um, On this, I did a trial run of a 7-hour audio recording. That came out to about, what is it, 1.64 gigabytes for 7 hours, and the battery wasn't even empty on that. And that was from a full charge. It took it down to about, where are the buttons at? Took it down to about half away on the um, on the battery, which I thought was pretty good. You can do quite long, consistent recordings. So ideally, you could put about 20 hours of recordings on this thing. I'm gonna add a sample in and show you how how the audio changes the further you move away from it, because they did offer this for lectures, saying it'd be good for lectures and things like that. I don't know. I could only get like a max distance of six meters away without going outside, and obviously going outside. All background noise, it just wouldn't sound that good. So I'll play that recording now. So this is what the audio sounds like being stood right next to it. This is what the audio sounds like being stood about a meter away. This is what the audio sounds like being stood about two meters away. This is what the audio sounds like being stood about three meters away. This is what the audio sounds like being stood about four meters away. This is what the audio sounds like being stood about five meters away. And this is what the audio sounds like being stood about six meters away. And as you can tell, the audio quality, it's not going to win any awards by any means. But the audio quality is decent enough, to be honest with you, for hearing voices. If you're in a crowded room, it might get a bit noisy, because it seems it does pick up everything. But for listening to conversations, you can clearly hear the words and that. Which is obviously what you want from a digital voice recorder. One of the other cool features about this is you can play these back. This down here is a speaker. And you can play your audio back through this. It's a little bit hard to navigate. I'm not going to lie. This is using these buttons. It's a bit of a learning curve. It takes me back to the old cheaper MP3 players that had a screen. It's kind of a bit like that. But it does its job. It works at the end of the day. And you turn it off with the slide button. Yeah, it's honestly not bad value for money. I recommend it if you just need one every now and again because of course this is rechargeable and that's just very convenient just very convenient it's not that heavy i'll get the pair of scales out and weigh it actually so according to my scales it's coming in at about 61 grams probably give a gram or two either way just because these scales might not be that accurate but yeah it's not a heavy device to use and i also forgot to mention it does have a headphone jack as well so you can plug headphones in and listen to it that way Overall, pretty good device. Recommend it for money. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get your own. I'll check it out. But yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.